When yeah. we talk about Dmitry Mendeleev, we talk about Russia. We talk about Siberia. It was 1834. Ivan and Maria gave war to Dmitry Mendeleev. Around 1963, there were about 56 known element. Now, Dmitry Mendeleev was so obsessed with the different type of atoms that one day he woke up in the middle of the night and he claimed that he saw so many atoms not yet discovered. And he put them down, he put them down in groups and periods, he called it periodic table. 1906, he was nominated to win the Nobel Prize in chemistry, but there was a man. There was a man named Peter Klassen. Peter Klassen opposed the idea to giving a Nobel Prize to a Russian. And he did not win the Nobel Prize in 1906. 1907, well, he died in February. Next half an hour and so I'll give you a full understanding of periodic table and this half an hour will be dedicated to Dimitri Mandela. So let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna divide the periodic table in 18 groups. And now I'm gonna divide them in energy level. If you understand this 18 groups and 5 period, you will, uh, you would be able to understand the, the periodic table. So last one in hydrogen. Hydrogen is under group 1 and period 1, helium. Group 18, helium belongs to group 18. Okay, and lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and, and chlorine, and argon, Potas potassium, krypton. All right, so this is, all right, now, this is the group one. So this is group one. Group one has a name, alkali. So group one has a name, alkali, alkali. The group one, what makes it group one is the valence electron. They do have one valence electron one only one balance electron for example i'm going to show you the hydrogen and i'm going to show you sodium so sodium balance electron so let's draw the hydrogen hydrogen you have one proton and hydrogen one electron so the valence electron is the electron on the outer shell now i'm going to do the sodium sodium has um, 11 so 11 proton so 11 proton and then it has that's why i said that all of them has one valence electron valence electron electron on the outer shell okay group two group two has a name alkali kaline earth metal and valence electron is two electron two so now let me give you an example example of i don't know um beryllium so so beryllium let's say beryllium beryllium has hydrogen helium lithium beryllium so the one and two so two valence electrons i'm going to call out them by by green so the two valence electrons so valence electron are two for beryllium but for group one any for group one the valence electron is just one all right so this is this has a name al alkali and this has a name alkaline okay now let's go to the group next group this is called halo halogen so this is called halogen all right so this is this is the halogen halogen group this is non-metal 
and this is called novel gas novel gas so this is called group 18 halogen is group 17 and novel gas novel gas is group is group 18 what makes it novel gas because novel gas has eight electron on the outer shell eight electron means that it has a it satisfy the octet rule octet rule said that when an electron has eight electron on the outer shell that is a happy atom it doesn't want to gain any more electron or it doesn't want to lose any more electron because it has what it wants and that is eight electrons so all the novel gas from helium to neon to 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 argon to uh, to krypton everyone has the same the same the same eight valence electron that's why they are happy that's why they are novel gas we're going to talk more about novel gas in a second now i'm going to create a staircase so this is the staircase i'm going to create so this we're going to call it metalloid meaning this of the semiconductor semiconductor all right so everything everything to the left of the staircase so everything to the left of the staircase these this thing are are metals so these all are metals and this is non-metal this to the right side of the staircase non-metal and the and the staircase they are the semiconductor or metal ion so these are the metals these are the non-metals and they are the metal ions or semiconductor all right so the most uh, famous metals or most famous conductor in physics is copper and zinc where an electron can move freely electron cannot move freely an electron can move but not very freely okay now we are going to have next thing we're going to try to understand the atomic number the atomic mass and atomic weight so atomic number let's take a boron for example so boron so the boron is the uh, 5 10 boron boron has two isotopes so we're going to talk about isotope as well 5 and 11 so first we're going to talk about atomic number so I told you in the beginning atomic number is very important if you remove one if you remove one 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 photon so atomic numbers are photon so let's, let's if you remove one one photon from boron it's not going to be boron it's going to become beryllium is going to become beryllium if you add one more one more proton to to boron then it's going to become carbon so if you if you remove or add atomic number or proton then it loses the identity so atomic number is more important than any other properties atomic number is the number of protons so atomic number is five so both type of uh, we have a boron 10 we have a boron 11 but their atomic number are same what makes boron boron is the atomic number okay so this is also this is boron this is boron both boron what makes both boron the atomic number in this case the proton is equal to neutron in this case proton is not equal to neutron so this is the boron isotope now we're going to talk about the atomic mass atomic mass is number of proton plus neutron this is called atomic mass so how many what is the atomic mass for this one all right so proton is five so neutron is five so atomic mass is 10 in this case proton is five neutron is six so atomic mass is 11 now what is the atomic weight so atomic weight now let's find the atomic weight 10 plus 11 divided by 2 is this you can find atomic weight no you cannot find it atomic weight because this is not how you you can find them on the earth so this is the 20% of this the boron 10 is like 20% of all the boron found on the earth and this is like 80% of all the boron found on the earth so 
then you should be doing it a little differently. So 20 percent is 0 0.2, 80 percent is 0 0.8. So you're going to have 0 0.2 times 10 plus 0 0.8 times 11. And that gives you, that gives you, that gives you 10.8, 10.8 atomic weight atomic weight so this is what atomic weight so we learn the atomic number we learn the atomic mass we learn the atomic weight now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to understand the ionization